Hey there, Wolfpack. It's about eight o'clock at night. It's 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and it feels like a good time to go out to do some truck camping. I have roughly an hour's worth of driving to do, and I will bring you all back when I get to the campsite. It is out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Just the way I like it. Unfortunately, there's snow on the ground and there's ice on the road, so I need to focus here. So, let's do some driving. Made it to the campsite, little trouble. I hit some snow on the way, it was actually snowing. It took a while, but we made it. Snow is supposed to continue throughout the night and tomorrow. We will see if we wake up with anything, I have no idea. The plan's pretty simple. It's time to cook dinner. Once we have dinner done, we'll head out. We'll start a fire, sit around the fire, have some drinks, have a good time. This is going to be an outdoor gear review short. I started this series, or a series like this, I'm not really sure if it's a series, but basically what it is are short adventures not as long as the other ones I'll tell you what <laughs> it's plum hot in here already now i will be opening up the back here once i fire up this stove on the menu tonight bacon cheddar, onions, and garlic burgers. We will also have a drink and we have some barbecue baked beans. That smells so incredibly good. Cheers, everyone. It's whiskey time. Oh, man. And that is good. That is good. I have my Mr. Buddy heater going. I love you, buddy. I love my buddy. Bacon, onions, garlic salt. Unfortunately, the garlic that I had at the house, it went bad. So, uh, yeah. That's how it goes sometimes, but this stuff is pretty good. It is Kinder's Roasted Garlic Salt. This stuff is really, really good. And then of course, we have the baked beans. Hopefully with this trip, everyone, nothing will go wrong. The last truck camping trip that I went out for, it, it just, it was crazy, it was crazy. I actually started filming this and I kind of talked about this in some previous episodes, but um, I have some footage. I'm not sure what I will do with it. Maybe I'll make a video out of it. 
But basically what happened was I went out for a trip, I started going up this mountain out in the middle of nowhere, and first it started off as snow. The road was covered in snow. And I get like a quarter of the way up. It's a very narrow road, right? So I'm going up, the snow disappears, and it's nothing but a sheet of ice. Literally, a sheet of ice. I'm going up this mountain, the road's super slick, I can't turn around. As I'm going up, I come upon a car that had slidden off and had plowed into a tree. A tree was holding that thing up, one of its tires was torn off. Went up a ways, it kind of flattened out, leveled out, got out, checked, nobody's in the car. But I noticed that the tracks on the road, the footprints, they look fresh. So I hopped in the truck, kept going up, made it to the top, pulled into the parking lot, basically started filming, you know, getting ready for bed and whatnot, and I had to use the bathroom. So I get out of the truck, and with my headlamp on, I'm using the bathroom, and that's when two people walk up out of the fog, out of the snow and whatnot, and scared me to death, to be honest. <laughs> they got quite the show, um, yeah. That's their fault, not mine. Anyways, it was the people from the car. They had been walking up and down the road looking for help, didn't have service down there. I made some space for them. I took them down the mountain, took them home. And uh, I mean, there really was more to that, but it doesn't matter. Out in the middle of nowhere, I think I got home like at almost six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> The burger is almost done. Mm. The bacon is awesome. Let's try these onions. Oh man. Freaking amazing. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about right there. What should we start with? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. The baked beans. If you've been watching the channel from the beginning, I used to eat baked beans all the time. Mm. The barbecue baked beans, those are my favorite. These are original. Let's give the burger a shot. No condiments, just flavor. Bacon, onions, cheddar cheese, Oh yeah, turkey burger. Mm. Just awesome, awesome. As far as this trip goes, I do have some new gear with me that I'm testing out. I have some new bags here. They're duffel bags from Savada. They are awesome. First off, Savada makes top-notch gear and these bags are hardcore. There's three different sizes, and I got these in because I felt like they would work well for my overlanding and my truck camping and whatnot, and they do. They are freaking awesome. They lay completely flat, top and bottom, so you can stack them on top of each other, but also, when you're not using them, they all stack within the largest one. I've been going through numerous bags trying to find the right ones, and so far, these are the closest ones to it. They easily stack in the back of the truck or back here. They work perfectly for that. Hey everyone, this is nice. A nice little fire, it's a great way to end the evening. A drink, cheers to my friends. Now that I'm outside of the truck, it's pretty chilly. <laughs> it's pretty cold. It was a pain to find firewood. This entire area has been picked clean. I had to go across the road into the woods. I found some. It wasn't easy though. Enough wood here maybe for about an hour, something like that. Down here folks, the stars are out. Up there in the mountains where I'm from, it was snowing. <laughs> it's funny that a thousand feet would make such a difference, but it does. In truth, I'm not a big whiskey drinker. I drink some here and there. I'm not much of a drinker. But every once in a while, it's nice to sit around a fire, 
with just a sip. I'm sure that everybody has seen the old westerns where you have the cowboys drinking whiskey to stay warm. I'm sure you all know this, but it's not true. <laughs> drinking whiskey does not keep you warm. In fact, it does the opposite. It dilutes your blood and it makes it rush to the surface of your skin and you feel warm for a second. But with all that blood, it's moving away from your core. So you get hot for a second and then you get cold. So no, cowboys do not drink whiskey to survive or to stay warm or anything like that. I've mentioned this before in adventures from a long time ago, but my great grandfather, he used to make moonshine. And <laughs> after he passed away in his workshop, we found that stuff <laughs> all over the place. He was a jack of all trades sort of guy. He worked with wood, he farmed. I mean, he did masonry, he, you know, he did it all. And he made moonshine, he made booze. I could tell you so many funny stories about hanging out with my grandpa. He was a good guy and he loved watching the Wheel of Fortune. No, oh, yeah, Wheel of Fortune? No, Price is Right. He loved watching the Price is Right. That's it. I remember he would come in from his workshop and he would watch that show and sometimes he would make us lunch. Half the time we would be out on his porch hammering nails into it. The house that he built up there was all rough cut lumber. I mean, it was locust beams that he got out of the forest. Very rustic, that's for sure. The house that I grew up in was very rustic. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but we were very poor. There was no insulation in the walls, only the living room and the kitchen were heated. And actually there was a point in time where the kitchen wasn't even heated when I was a kid. I remember my dad cooking dinner in the kitchen, jacket on, and there were icicles hanging from the ceiling. Anyways, when my grandfather passed away and we tore his house down, that porch probably had about 50 pounds worth of nails hammered into it. And that's my brother and I's handiwork. <laughs> I'm sure I've told you all that before, but yeah. Good times, good memories. Having an upbringing like that, I wouldn't trade for nothing because it makes you humble. It makes you appreciative. In a way, I wish my kids had to grow up that way because it would teach them lessons that they can't learn otherwise. It's one thing to say, oh, I appreciate having heat in my house, but it's something else completely to know what it's like not to have it. All right, everybody. Inside of the truck for the night. Everything's all set up, ready to rock and roll. I have my cot ready, my mattress ready. I used my small Dewalt compressor to blow this up. That thing is awesome. You can inflate a tire, you can inflate your sleeping pad. It really works well, it really does. And also, it's not too expensive either. It's a very good piece of kit to keep inside of your vehicle. I got my buddy heater going here, just for a minute to kind of warm things up. Just in case you're not accustomed to sleeping in the back of a vehicle, I will explain how things work when it comes to heat, if you're going to use a heater system inside of your vehicle. You have to consider like convection, conduction, and the properties of heat. When you consider those, what I'm about to say will make sense. So you have to think about all of the cold air that is surrounding the shell of your vehicle, right? So when you turn on that heater, heat rises. Because of the rules that I mentioned before in regards to heat, warmth, and so on, heat can only do so much inside of the shell that you're within. So with the heater going, I can warm up this truck area, but there's a line. It's about halfway down in this vehicle, right through here and up, it's warm. From here down, it's cool. And as you go down, it gets colder. So if you're sleeping flat on the bed of your truck, there's a good possibility that you're going to be cold unless you have a really good sleep system. If you're using a heater, you wanna elevate yourself as much as possible. In that case, I have my cot, I have my sleeping mat, and I am raised up. And already, it's warming up nicely in here. It feels good. Now, of course, you will only want to raise yourself up to a certain extent. There are limits as to what you would wanna do. Now, 
Everybody is different. You can do what you want to, of course. But for myself, I want to be able to sit up. I want to be able to change clothes. I want to sit here, have coffee. I want to be able to eat. I don't want to have to lay down and eat at the same time. In my opinion, that's ridiculous. You'll regret it. I've seen a lot of systems when it comes to like truck camping in the bed and whatnot. I mean, some people are like this high. They're this far away from the roof. That's pretty funny. Don't make that mistake. They're sorry they did it, and you will be too. So make sure to give yourself plenty of space. You want to be able to move around. You want to be comfortable. Your system has to be efficient for you and what you want to do. I'm going to call it a night, turn everything off. I'll leave the heater on for a little bit, just so I can warm up. I'm going to start a movie here. This time, I actually have a couple movies that aren't bad. Most of the time it's just pure garbage. But I have Last of the Mohicans, which they have done something to the cover of this movie. The guy looks like a freaking alien. I also have a movie called Broken Arrow. Do you all remember that one? It's not too bad. So I'm going to pick one of those. I haven't seen either in a really long time. And uh, yeah, call it a night. See you all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's about 7.30. It's time to get up, have some coffee, make some breakfast. It was a very quiet night. I didn't hear anything, didn't see anything. Nobody came up to the vehicle, and that's a good thing. I let the buddy heater run all night long. It's nice and warm and comfortable in here. My sleep system. It's awesome. For some reason though, last night, I didn't sleep good. I don't know why. I wonder if it's snowing. At home anyways. Susie sent a message, good morning, blah, 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 blah. It's snowing here. Answers that question. So, all right, well, I'm going to break everything down, get switched over to living life mode in the truck. Let's start breakfast and coffee. It is breakfast time. What I have here is eggs, bacon, cheese, a little bit of sausage. I'm going to put just a little bit of garlic salt on it. And that's because garlic is good on everything. Mm, that is awesome. Since it's snowing at home and the snow level has dropped down to here, I probably will wrap this up and head out. There's two ways out of this area. One is to go down, around, and then back up, which takes hours, or go back the way I came. The way that I came is extremely steep, and much of that road is covered in ice, so I think I'll head out of here before it becomes a problem. That's pretty good, folks. Nice and easy to make. It's good.
It is time to go home. Let's see how nasty this road is first. I am about to begin going up this mountain and I will need to focus. There's times where I will need to go slow, but there's also times where I will need to give it some gas and really get on it. Driving in snow, not too bad. Driving in ice, it takes some work. So I will say goodbye for now. I wanna thank you all very much for joining me for this trip. I appreciate you. On to the next adventure. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you like this episode. Support the channel if you want to. And everyone, take care, be well, strength and honor.